Hi, everybody. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Welcome to Long Island. Ray, listen to the energy in the arena here tonight. They know it's critical. The players know it's critical. What's the message here? Oh, there's really nothing that can't be said that isn't so obvious. Hey, series is tied. We got a chance to take the lead. Play our best game. Be as aggressive as you can. Two teams looking starved for a win. And we are set to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. It steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. They haven't had a power play yet. The game's scoreless. This is a fantastic opportunity to break the ice. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Puck clears the zone. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. With the bank pass. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Into the middle of the neutral zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. That knocks him off the puck. The Islanders have it from their own end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Receives the pass. Nice pass. Edmonton's across the blue line. The Oilers played along the boards. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. The Oilers are back to even strength as the PK unit comes up large. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Moved out in front! Big time stop! Varlamov had to be on his game. That's a great chance. There's another stop. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Scrum ensues along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Mayfield. Pumps it away to keep the pressure on. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. Dry Seidel's going off for hooking. I guess at a certain point you gotta let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You gotta have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight. That can't matter. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they have done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. He had enough time to wind up for the slapper, and he zips it past the goaltender on the stick side. The Islanders get off to a great start here, leading 1-0. Well, they get everybody through the lineup, and now they're on the board already. Great start for them. Nelson's one possession. And that's broken up with a stick in front. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Man advantage unit is set. Even though this is a great chance to tie the game, you still have to remain a little bit patient. Don't panic with the puck. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Three minutes, 36 seconds. 
Takes the pass. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Good hit to bump him off the puck. And now he tries to get it across to McDavid. Shot! Gives him nothing in front. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Islanders lead it 1-0. Komarov's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Let's it go, and that's blocked. Edmonton's gained possession. Quick pass across to McDavid. With some open space at center. Quick pass to McDavid. Drives to the sweet spot. Stones him in front. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Denies him in close. Smothered that in close chance. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Islanders get back to even strength as the penalty-killing unit delivers. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. Nelson's got it on the offensive end. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Pass to Torres. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Yamamoto. Moves it over to Nurse. Nice dish from the left wing. The Islanders look to start the transition game. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it up. They've got numbers. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save by Varlamov. Keeps possession on the play. And now he angles it across to Pulak. Sends it over. He scores! Anders Lee makes it count. Really good maneuverability in a tight spot down by the net. He gets the pass and he one-times that in from the low slot. Two centers tie up. Nice defensive robbery on that. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Lee. Takes the feed. Chase on swooping in on the attack. Slides it across. That pass goes a little sideways. Sends a pass over. Takes a shot and makes a save. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. Excellent shot. He gets his stick into position to deliver the puck. Goalie thinks he's got most of it covered, which he does, but not enough. It's just inside the post. More than half the period left to play. The Islanders have taken control of this one, now leading by three. New York's won the draw. Puck grabbed by Mayfield. And now he moves it to Clutterbuck. The Islanders looking against the half wall. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Time of the goal. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Now a quick pass to Larson. And here's the pass to Nugent Hopkins. Takes the feed. 
Here's a short pass to Clutterbuck. Denied by the goaltender. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Gets it over to McDavid. And they fail to go tape to tape. To his teammate! Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. The Islanders are being called for tripping. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. Kind of stop. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. All alone! Big time stop on the break! Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. Breakaway! Denies him on the breakaway! Really good speed to get out in front, dust the pack. Now it's him and the goalie, but the goalie's better. He makes the stop. Everly's been relentless this playoff season. He's among the league leaders in points, no matter how they check him. McDavid's got to be the lead dog here. I, there are times when a captain can be just one of the leadership group, but when you're down by this much, you've got to show the guys that the game can't end. You have to play hard still. New York's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Turris brings it in. The Islanders gain possession of the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. The Oilers come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. The Oilers have it against the wall. Turris explores his options in the corner. Slides the puck over. Great defensive effort with the strip. The Islanders are in transition. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Edmonton's on the attack. Can't connect. Stick save and a butte by Harlamov. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And some good footwork to kick it away. Takes it right in the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Past the midway mark in this period, New York's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Karras won it off the faceoff. And he moves it up to Cassian. Sends the pass over. New York's got the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Barcel. The Oilers gain control of it. Moves it on over to Barry. Looking for space inside the D zone. And it's a quick pass to Cassian. And now it's over to Chason. Slides the puck ahead to Kara. Quick feed to Cassian. He scores! So is this the time the coach says the two-goal lead's the most dreaded lead in hockey? Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to say it. Guaranteed down there. But now you're only down two. You've got to push the play. Take some chances. Get up the ice. You've got to get another one. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Edmonton's finally shown that they are awake in this ding, one. Ding, ding, ding. That's the alarm yeah. clock. Get going, boys. You got one. You got to get going Somebody more Somebody hit the snooze button. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Barzell's got control of the puck in the corner. Came up with the save on that play. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kara. And not much on that one. The setters will glide into the dot. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. 
fires it into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck behind the net. The Oilers play it along the boards. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Varlamov. Cassian's been on fire lately. His point streak's starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. Here in the late going of the frame, Edmonton still down by two goals in this one. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Jostled off the puck. And there's the save. Larson's got it along the boards. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Great chance in front. What a steal in his own end. Keeps hold of the puck. Pass across to Pajo. The Islanders take it along the wall. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Wax it into the offensive zone. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. The Oilers have it in the offensive zone. Handles the puck. New York's gained possession along the boards. Boston twig. He puts everything behind this. He's got it right in his wheelhouse. And then the stick just craters on him. The Oilers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers play it along the wing. Off the glove. Puck battle along the boards. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Beauvillier. And he regains control of the puck. Strong defensive effort. Cassian's lugging the puck. Tries to feed it over to Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers are on the attack. Takes a wrist shot. Easily turned away by the goaltender with the glove. The Islanders take it along the wing. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Moves the puck. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Lee. Pumps the puck away. And now he tries to get it across to Everley. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Edmonton's looking to break out. And now he angles it across to McDavid. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Varlamov's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Edmonton still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Well, that'll do it for period number one. Opportunities at both ends of the ice create a little bit of offense. Fun start here. During the game, please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Even with the enhanced safety measures, there are moments when a puck can be propelled into the spectating area with enough force to cause injury. So please stay alert at all times. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. The Oilers win the face-off. They've got the defense outnumbered. Just wide. Barlamov's going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. The Oilers have had multiple scoring opportunities, but they still trail in the second. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Pellick's got it in the defensive end. Great poise here as he gets it back. Moves it to pull off. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Here's an odd man rush. 
taken by Pellick. Works it across to Lee. Grabs the puck. Play rolls on. Here's a short pass to Everly. Strong defensive effort. Handles it along the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Everly. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And the puck sails out of play and will get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. Lots of time left in this period. New York's got a 3-1 lead. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. Quick pass to Cahoon. He says, let's get physical on that play. New York's looking to break out of their own end. From the point, looks to make something happen. With the stop. And he slides it quickly to Letty. Moves right to the middle, and that one's broken up. Quick feed to Yamamoto. New York's ready to go on the attack. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. A stick between the player's feet. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, the power play gets another opportunity. They haven't been super busy tonight, but here's a chance to get on the board. Sasikis wins the faceoff. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Neal's picking up steam. Puck scooped up by Barry. Solid check to slow him down. Manages to hang on. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. McDavid's got it against the boards. Stick saved by Varlamov. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Steps into it, makes the save. Varlamov's hands are quick. He uses a stick to make this save on the scoring chance. Edmonton still trailing in this one despite numerous shots on goal. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Oilers scooping up along the boards. One last rush here on this power play. Taken along the wall by Mayfield. Receives the pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Oilers come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. Slides it over with pace to McDavid. The Oilers move it ahead. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Neal's off to the box, holding the call. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. If your power play's successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Quick pass to Cassian. The Oilers carry it along the wall. New York's got the puck along the boards. Gains the zone through the middle. Everly's got the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. Holding is the call, something you probably would have got away with in, say, the 90s. Oh, you would have got away with a lot more than that in the 90s. Right now, the standard's way tighter. I like it better now. New York's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. The coaches were talking to the power play about don't be too cautious. Get the puck on goal early. Here's a chance to get it out. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. They go on the attack through center. Here's the pass, and that's picked off. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. The Islanders have it behind the cage. Nelson's got it into offensive territory. Grabbed along the board by Beauvillier, and makes the save.
Still lots of time left in the period. The Islanders are up 3-1. Nelson's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. Moves it to Nelson. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Puts it on net, and he says no! And he slides it quickly to Beauvillier. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Larson's caught with the stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Islanders have been handed two minutes for hooking. A uh, step, a step and a half out of position, and you get called reaching out to try to slow your opponent down. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Sometimes you need grit, and you need grind, and you need toughness. Not on four-on-four. -four. You need skill. You need guys that can skate and who can move the puck. The Oilers' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Pajot's got the puck in his own zone. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Oilers have it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. A chance in front. The Islanders gain possession of the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Turris takes it across the line. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they manage to clear it. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Moves the puck to Turris. And now it's grabbed by Yamamoto. Takes a shot. Easily turned away by the goaltender. Barlamov's had a solid night here. His save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. The Oilers have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Picked up along the boards by Letty. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. And now he moves it to Komarov. Nice pass. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Takes the pass. Into the offensive zone. Sends it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Picked up along the wall by Neal. From the neutral zone now. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Set it out in front and they can't convert to the play. With the steal. Angles it over to pull up. Hugh trying to shake loose. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, what a stop on the breakaway. Good speed to break ahead of the pack. He thinks he's got the goalie beat, but shut down. That's a great stop. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. More than half the frame has been played here. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Puck picked up by Pulak. They fight for it along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. New York's in now. Chaps the puck away. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Edmonton's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Through center along the wing. Throws it in. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And sends it just out of reach. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. 
made the save on the play. New York's got the puck now. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Knocked away. And a great save. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. A uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. New York's opposition can't be feeling too good tonight about now, Ray. No, they're looking at the clock and hoping they go to straight time and this thing can end in a hurry. This neutral zone faceoff set to go and we are back underway. By Takes the feet at the back end. Here's a pass down low. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Everly's gaining momentum. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Barzell. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. And we got another stoppage in play for, guess what? Yeah, another penalty being called here. The Oilers are getting two minutes for tripping. Trying to get to the puck, he reaches his stick right into the guy's feet, and down he goes. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They've talked in the last week about really trying to be more aggressive on the power play. They were earlier on, and their coach has got to be... Oh, look at that. Here we go. we got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle stopping the play. The Oilers have been called for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Five on three can really change the game. Tip it on its head by getting a couple goals on a rather lengthy power play. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And he gains the zone here. Moves it quickly over to Beauvillier. Risky play with the paddle, but it works. Shot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Trying to get the puck out of his own end and manages to clear the zone. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Huge steal at his own end. He's trying to do too much with the puck there. They're already ahead. This is a time for safety. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Puts it up front, puts it on net, gets in front of it. And that one's blocked. Directs it on over to Bear. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Quick pass across to Barzell. And now he moves it quickly to Letty. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Tries to the crease. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Move to the middle, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. And the play is whistled dead, here's the call. Beauvilliers called for tripping, he's off to the box. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Edmonton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When you're on the power play and you get one in a game you haven't had many, don't let the coach think. Get yourself on the ice and get yourself ready for the faceoff. Denies him with the save. 17 minutes, 24 seconds. Nelson's stability offensively has never been in question, but now he's producing at the most important time of the year among the league leaders in goals. In the final moments of this period, 4-1 is where we sit. A pretty one-sided affair. Puck grabbed by Barry. Here's a chance. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. And he gets a paddle on that one. 
Now it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. And the puck leaves the zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Passes over to Yamamoto. Slides it across. Oh, and that goes wide. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. The Oilers have it against the wall. Now a quick pass to Dreisaitl. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Couldn't make that one happen. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. The Oilers can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. I really like the way that these guys have killed penalties. They have been perfect tonight. Take a penalty, kill it off. They don't look phased at all. New York's ready to go on the attack. Quick feed down low. Quick pass to Pacho. Wrists one. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Koskinen. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Did you know that season ticket holders get special discounts and access to insider information? Check our website for details. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. Third period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. Here we go, third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Oilers really should be pretty pleased with the style of game they've played. They have the puck a lot, but they're losing because they have not found a way to finish. And he can't hang on after that hit. Scooped up along the wall by Everly. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Turn that one aside. The Islanders are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. New York's won the faceoff. Sends a pass over. Takes the feed. Too many bodies in the way. Yamamoto's got the puck along the wing. Great balance as he scoops it back up. From the slot, wrist shot. Denied that one. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Cahoon's been nabbed for tripping. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The Islanders once again send out their power play unit. Here's another power play for them, James. They've already scored on the power play tonight, so they must have some pretty good feel for it. They also have to be aware the penalty killers will adjust. They will have to, too. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. And it's kicked away. We got a penalty coming up here. Whistle blows the play dead. Goaltender can't even get out. The Oilers have been penalized holding the call. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. The Islanders with a five on three and they've got loads of time to work with here. And it's quite some time on the five on three. What a big advantage for them. They have to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't let a two-man advantage slip away. Moves it to Beauvillier. Maintains possession. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. The Islanders have it in the offensive zone. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's a 4-1 game. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Hangs onto the puck. Here's a short pass to Kara. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. It's a two-on-one. Big play inside the defensive zone. Point blank stop by Koskinen. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. 
Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Sends the pass over. The Oilers have possession shorthanded. Slides it across to Bailey. Slides it on over to Nelson. From the point, they take control of it. The Islanders take it from the side. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. The Islanders have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Takes a shot and misses over the net. Taken along the wall by Clutterbuck. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. And now it's over to Pugliarvi. Handles the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Islanders have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. The Islanders are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Now reaches in with his stick, and he'll go to the box. Power play unit going back to work. Well, here's another power play, James. They haven't been very good so far tonight. Nothing to show for their previous attempts. So now you have to get back to it, adjust, and re-attack on this man advantage. They clear the zone. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Moves it quickly over to Yamamoto. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And that slides right out to center ice. Looking to break out here on the power play. And it's a quick pass to Turris. Slides the puck over. The easy glove save by Barlamov. I loved making that save in road hockey. The old blocker stop. New York's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. And a successful clearing attempt. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. The Oilers will play it against the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Clutterbuck stick handling in his own zone. Puck slid down the ice. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. New York's penalty killers get their man out of the box. Well, these penalty killers have been on the same page from the drop of the puck tonight. They have been outstanding when they've been a man down. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. New York's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Edmonton's won the draw. Moves the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Yamamoto. Steps into all of that. New York's got the puck along the wall. The Islanders take over on possession. Gaining momentum along the wing. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Moves the puck over to Russell. Excellent stick work on the play. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Taken by Larson. The Oilers take it along the wall. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. Just wide of the net. You can go games without a chance from here. Dreisaitl's working it around in the corner. Receives the pass. And he slides it quickly to Pajo. New York's got it across the line. Good check. Frees the puck up. Sends it over to Russell. 
Nice pass. Dreisaitl's known as a goal scorer. He just hasn't gotten anything done tonight. Like most of his team, it's been a long night. They're getting clobbered. Denies him again. New York's got him along the wall. Here's a chance. Denies him. He got all of it. Quick pass to Turris. Takes the pass. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Stays with it. Takes a shot. Stones him with the blocker. Turris plays it into the offensive zone. Cross ice pass. Barlamov's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Ah, uh, he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. The Islanders continue to lead big here in this third period. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Off the mark! Goaltender's in good shape. There's not much room at all there, and he ends up shooting it wide. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played, and it's been a pretty one-sided affair to this point. It's 4-1. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. And now it's grabbed by Nelson. He carries the puck up along the wing. Look out, a two-on-one. And he comes up with it. Moves it to Beauvillier. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Islanders have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Kara's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Looks to make a play over to chase on. Edmonton's moving the puck through center ice. Nice poke check. Puck scooped up by Mayfield. Takes the feed. New York's moving it along the wing. Gets the puck over to Kara. And we've got a two-on-one. Sends it over. Here's a chance. Oh, what a blocker stop by Varlamov. And the puck's not loose. Couldn't connect on that pass. Varlamov's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Ah, it's the good luck from the truck. Attaboy, Brannigan. This puck changes direction, but the goalie makes the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Gets a hold of the puck. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. And he puts that one aside with ease. And the officials blow the whistle here as the net is knocked off its mooring. If the forward knocks this net off without any help from the defenseman, then the faceoff goes outside the blue line once the net comes loose. The Islanders' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. They fight for it along the boards. And the puck's kicked free. Penalty coming up, and he makes the save. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. Pretty easy call to make for the officials at holding there. Well, the player's arguing. He's yelling at the official, open your eyes. And the ref is looking at him like, you got a handful of his sweater. What else you want me to do? About 18,000 witnesses saw it the other way. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. If your power play is successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Cassian's got it in the offensive zone. From the left side, takes it at center. Coughs up possession of the puck. Passes it to Lee. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Move to the middle. Here's a short pass to Beauvillier. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Grabbed along the boards by Nelson. 
to the low slot. Beautiful stop. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. The Islanders have pummeled their opponents tonight. They have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Musa quickly over, scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. did they win the draw cleanly but they kept everybody away from the shooter he had plenty of time to tee that up the Islanders have really opened it up here in the third period impressive offensive performance it's coming from everybody they've kept their foot on the gas it's been in a relentless offensive attack Pushes it across to Cahoon. Edmonton's got him along the wall. Snaps one from the slot. Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. The Oilers don't need a shot off the goal post. I think what they need here, James, is a field goal to get back in this contest. Oh, what a slick stop by Harlamov. There's the whistle stopping the play. Penalty coming up. I don't think this will have much of an impact on this one. The Islanders don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. He's not going to like the call, but he's got a fistful of sweater, and you're going to have to pay for it. You can't take it home with you. Another chance here on the man advantage. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. The Oilers have it behind the net. Quick feed to McDavid. Down the right side and into the zone. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. The Oilers will play the puck from behind the net. Tries to feed it over to Dreisaitl. Steps across the blue line. Great poke check on the reach. Trying to gain a step. Moves inside. Great stop by the goaltender. Positioning and quickness. That's the day right there. Koskinen's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. New York's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Moves it around along the half wall. Blocker saved by Varlamov. Sends a pass over. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Smart defensive play there. Quick pass to Turris. With possession along the wall. Makes the save. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. The Islanders kill off the penalty. There's no facet of this penalty kill that has been weak tonight for them. They have been perfect while they've been down a man. From the goaltending to the pressure up the ice, denying entry. It's been an outstanding night for this unit. Barlamov's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. The Islanders lead it late in this third period. Barzell's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Turns it away. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Here in the late goings of the period, New York's put on an excellent display of firepower, leading 5-1. Nice job tying up his opponent. Moves it to Cajon. That's a solid hit. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he regains control of the puck. And he denied that opportunity. Here they come on the attack. To his teammate. Stopped by the goaltender. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Final minute of regulation here, and it should be it. Ennis had the wheel over to the bench, James. The stick broke. He needed a new one. Takes the feed from the left side. New York's looking to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly to Marcel. 
along the right side into the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Jones. Moves it over to Larson. Slides the puck to Ennis. And now he angles it across to Turris. Here's a backhander. Tremendous stop by Varlamov. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Edmonton's got it from behind the net. Sends it quickly to Ennis. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Grabs it at his own end. And there's the save. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. They break the deadlock here and now take a 3-2 series lead with a chance to close things out. Man, this felt like a pressure-filled game tied at two in the series. Now just one win away from putting this away. I love that Long Island has taken this as their own. Yes! When they're at the yes. Coliseum, it sounds awesome. Well, that closes the book on this playoff barn burner for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We will see you as the playoffs roll on towards the quest for the cup.